News of the extent of the destruction reaches Chief of the Luftwaffe, Reich Marshal Hermann Goering. 26,000 dead. And counting. Raging. Panic in the streets. Hitler's director of air armament, Field Marshal Erhard Milch, urges the Fuhrer that the Luftwaffe should develop a defensive strategy. I will not tolerate these defeatist notions. Gentlemen, the battles so far have been expertly fought. And no By means of hard blows, I plan to have this enemy, who has already suffered a decisive moral defeat, down on his knees in the nearest future. To victory! Gunner Otto Henning is returning from a reconnaissance mission with Rommel's Africa Corps. The great battle, complete destruction of the enemy. One afternoon in May 1942, a Feisler stork circled over our site and landed. I was able to take two pictures of him. We were bombed no less than six times by British aircraft. On one occasion, I only just had time to throw myself into a slit trench. This, is gonna be this kind of mindset is what stands between defeat and victory. It is a political necessity. August 10th, 1943, Northeast Sicily. News filters back to Hitler's headquarters in East Prussia. Five large convoys of ships heading towards the southeast coast of Sicily. It may very well be a diversion of the attack. One man who is not surprised to hear the news of the mass capitulations is Chief of German Forces in Italy, Field Marshal Albert Kesselring. Fire! Everything happening in a matter of seconds. More and more aircraft are arriving, gliders coasting down to Earth. Mussolini has been arrested! The traitors! Backstabbers as they are, they will of course proclaim their intention of continuing to fight. <laughs> <laughs> 